Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, uh, we're actually going to download some shape files and just uh, take a look at what that workflow looks like in QGIS. So I'm going to go to the browser here and just type in um, natural earth data. I just I've been on this website before to get um, just to get some practice data to work with. And if you go to downloads over here, um, go to the large scale data cultural, and um, I just like to get this populated places shapefile. Um, I'm just going to click download here. And if you just have any other shapefile you can follow along, but uh, I'm going to extract this. I'm actually going to extract this to um, C drive. I'm just going to make a new folder here. QGIS uh, videos. I'll just put it in here and then extract it. And there we have a shapefile. And shapefiles, if you're not aware, they're not just one file. They're composed of multiple files. And I think these four actually are mandatory um, in order to have a, a compliant shapefile that, um, that works. So don't be alarmed when you see all these uh, random files. We actually, that's not even part of the shapefile. Neither is that. It's uh, the this makes up the actual shape file. But if we go back to QGIS now, let's go over here to our little browser area, and we're just going to browse to that location. Um, now we could also just drag the shape file in, but I want to show how we how we can work with it in QGIS. So you notice this QGIS videos uh, on my C drive here. Uh, this has popped up, so I just open it up, and there's the shape file. And QGIS is smart enough that it knows it doesn't need to display all these files here because it, it knows a shape file is usually made up of all these files. So it recognizes that and is just displaying as one thing here. Um, so we can just drag this in, and there you go. We have a bunch of um, just a shape file of all these populated places. Um, so that's cool. Uh, what else can we do with this, this data? Um, so one thing is. Um, shape files like this usually have something called an attribute table, which is just um, a, a table of more data about all the uh, about all the points. So, if you right-click here and say "Open Attribute Table," um, we see, or we should see more info, uh, more info about all of this, uh, about the shape file. So, if we actually click on one. And uh, one particular one, we should be able to zoom to it. I think this, yeah, that's the that's how you zoom to it. Uh, it's right here, this particular feature. If we go back to our attribute table, I'm trying to remember how you dock this pane. I can't remember how, um, but there's a way to dock this so it stays down here. Um, but basically, this is just uh, this is the shape file, and there's fields of data that correlates to it. Um, so that's pretty cool. Now you might ask, that's cool if we want to download other people's data, but how how do we go about making our own shape file? Uh, that's a good question. So I'm going to remove this, and up here you'll see this new shapefile layer and I'm actually gonna do it a different way. I'm gonna go go to this folder that I made and you should be able to right click and just say new shapefile. Now here they want a little bit more information so they want to know what coordinate system it's in so we're gonna use this uh, WGS84 which is a uh, it's an industry standard for um, uh, for this type of stuff. Um, so I'm just gonna call this um, so actually, let's name it something else. Let's just call it our shape file. Uh, that's fine. We're going to make it a point. So what, what we were just looking at, all those cities, that was a point um, geometry type. There also could be lines or polygons, uh, but we're just going to use point for now. And I'm just going to call this. So this is a field. So I'm going to call the name. I'm going to call it city um, actually let's call it location or no let's just call it 
location, that's fine. Location. Let's call it location. That's fine. Alright, whatever. It doesn't really matter. And we're going to make this a text, and we're going to hit OK. So you see here we have this new our shape file. So we'll drag this in. And you notice nothing pops up because there's nothing in there yet. But if we open our attribute table here, that's interesting. Why don't we see fee layer properties? I'm wondering why we don't see our location. Uh, the location field we just made. Hmm. Let's try this again. Maybe I didn't click OK there. Location. Let's call it our shape file 2. Oh, I don't think I click add to fields list. <laughs> That's why. So just click OK. So I'm just going to delete this first one we made. We don't need that. Uh, I can't delete it because I have it in the layer here. So let's remove that. And now we can delete it. OK. And we'll drag this one in. And now when we go to the attribute table, you should see two fields. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start editing this shape file. So right now we're not in editing mode, but say we want to actually add some data to this. We need to be in um, this editing mode. So click that. And what we need to do is now that we're in editing mode, we can go to a particular location on the map. And we need to just um, add a point. So add a point feature. Now you see our cursor sort of changed a little bit. And I'm going to just click right there. Let's just make this 1. And the value for location, let's just call this um, PA because this is in Pennsylvania. So there you see we have a, a, um, a value right now. And if we go back to our attribute table, we have a one record in there. So now let's take another, uh, let's make another one. And how I just panned like this, I actually held in my mouse scroll, my mouse wheel. If you hold the mouse wheel in, you can pan back and forth, or you can use this hand right here. Um, but I'm just going to put one in Montana and call this Montana. Oh, ID. We're going to make it two. Location field is going to be Montana. All right. Actually, I'm going to add one more field because I want to add a little description in the attribute table. So if we go back here to the attribute table, there is a way to add more fields. Um, spare with me for a sec. Got to remember how to do this. Here we go. New field. Let's just call this extra info. Let's just call it info. And then in the comment, we'll say extra info. And we don't want this to be a whole integer. We want it to be text. And length, let's just make it 150. So that gives us 150 characters to work with. So you see, now we have another field here called info. And I'm actually going to just edit this one and say uh, our first point, second point. All right. And now let's just add another point here. Three. Uh, where where was that place? I actually forgot where I clicked on. South Dakota. So three. South Dakota. And for info, I'm just gonna say for this one. This was when I was in South. Da when this was when I was hiking in South Dakota and just hit OK and now once you're done let's add one more add one more in California and just say California and 
this was over Christmas. No, I was going to say like this was over. I'm just going to say this was my trip to California. Okay. And let's get one outside of the U.S. too. Uh, let's put one in dry and just say five location. Info trip to India. And just click OK. And now I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to turn the base map off. So now we can see this is where all of our data is. Turn it back on. And when you're satisfied uh, with your shapefile, we want to save the edits and then toggle out of editing mode. So now we're out of editing mode and we can go back to our attribute table. And let's go back and uh, I thought we did these, but let's populate these again. So let's open up editing mode again and say um, visit to Montana. And this was the first and just um, save edits and then what is this? Toggle editing mode. Okay. Then we can this is how you sort by a field, so I'm sorting by ID. And again, I think I showed you, but to, to actually zoom to this location, just hit this zoom to map. Or is it that one? Zoom map to the selected rows. Yeah, I guess we're just way out. Let's try here. All right, well, um, I think that's a good place to stop. That was a basic intro of uh, shapefiles and how we can create our own shapefile. Um, hope this was helpful.